to be showing you how to test the hydraulic pump on your Genie equipment. We are going to be working on a Genie GS1930 scissor lift. For your safety, please be sure to read the user and safety manuals before operating equipment. At GC Iron, we only sell OEM parts for the manufacturer and that's what we'll be using today. by disconnecting the high pressure plug and then connect the 0 to 5000 psi pressure gauge to the high pressure port. Turn the key switch to ground control and pull out the red emergency stop button to the on position at both ground and platform controls. Activate the platform up function from the ground controls to get a reading on the pressure gauge. What we are looking for here is a reading of 3200 psi or pretty close to it. If the pressure gauge reaches 3200 psi, stop immediately. This means the hydraulic pump is good and functioning correctly. As you can see on our pump here, we only managed to get a reading of about 1900 psi, which is nowhere near the 3200 psi which we are looking for. So this indicates to us that the pump is bad and will need to be serviced or replaced. And we're going to be showing you guys how to do that in our next video, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. To find all the parts and equipment used in this video, head over to our website, gciron.com.